The City of Wilsonville's new contractor and partner, CH2M Hill, is now operating the city's wastewater treatment plant. CH2M Hill is a worldwide leader in consulting, design, design build, operations, and program management. The firm, founded in 1946, emphasizes safety, ethics, and people. We have a very strong commitment to safety, uh, have what we call a target zero program, so we want to make sure that everybody comes home from work safely every day, that we don't have any impacts to the environment, to the safety of the surrounding community. That's a very important value to us. Um, second important value is ethics. The company's very, it's a very strong ethics uh, belief. Um, we're one of the companies that was named as one of the world's most ethical companies for the last three, four years in a row by an international organization that tracks this, the, uh, these kinds of things. And a third major value for the company is people, um, really a focus on people. We're employee owned. Um, anybody in the company can own stock in the company. Um, we really value people, both our employees and the communities we work with. And we're really excited about the opportunity to work with the city of Wilsonville and the people of the city of Wilsonville and uh, look forward to being a partner for many years to come. CH2M Hill completed a 60-day transition period to familiarize staff with equipment and processes at the plant. Three former city employees, Chuck Edwards, Cindy Kehoe, and Jim Nail, now work for CH2M Hill. It's been a great transition. The, the city, the staff of the city, the people of the city have been really you know, welcoming and very, very easy to work with, and I think that's made the transition um, go very go very well so far. The existing employees that have uh, used to work for the city now work for CH2M Hill are all great, you know, great people, great workers, and have had, come with a great attitude. Um, and that's made the transition uh, a, a pleasurable one for us, and uh, we hope for the city too. CH2M Hill has hit the ground running since assuming operations. They quickly turned the design, build, operate construction method into an ODBO by operating the facility while design is underway. Input from current operators at the plant has been very helpful. One of the things that we've done, because this is an, an operate, design, build, operate, is we have incorporated the operators, including myself, and the operators who have been part of the, the that were part of the city of Wilsonville, are now CH2M Hill employees, in the design process of, uh, brought him into a couple of meetings and sat down and went through all of the plans and uh, the 30% design and had them put their input as to those things they felt either were correct or weren't correct and they were a great asset to the engineers to help them with not only history but with issues that they felt may have been coming up with uh, ideas that we had for design. The plant's design will meet the city's current and future needs and will focus on four main areas, odor, water quality, reliability, and biosolids. First of those uh, is to address the odor issues that have historically been an issue at the plant. So our improvements will include advanced odor control for any odorous facilities. Our process configuration was really targeted at eliminating, eliminating those facilities that were the most odorous at the site. So by eliminating those facilities and then providing advanced odor control, we expect to significantly reduce or even eliminate the odor issues and odor complaints around the facility. The new improvements will um, significantly improve the reliability of the, of the system. Um, many of the facilities here aged and deteriorating. Those facilities will be removed and demolished as part of our project. But we are maintaining some of the facilities that have been implemented in the last 10 to 15 years. So by that, in that we are able to optimize the city's investment in the facility and build on those improvements that can, will have continued life um, for the next 15 to 20 years. Um, another key aspect of our um, improvements is to provide enhanced water quality. The new facilities will improve water quality by um, meeting enhanced um, temperature limits in the summertime, which basically makes sure that our rivers are, clean, are uh, cool enough for, to support salmon. 
Um, we will also in reduce the amount of turbidity that's returned to the uh, stream in the, in the summertime. And it also positions the city well for future regulatory requirements. Uh, the fourth item that our, uh, our improvements will address is um, producing a um, uh, Class A biosolids. So biosolids are a very valuable byproduct of a wastewater treatment facility. Um, they are typically utilized, beneficially reused um, at farms and, and nurseries as a valuable soil amendment. So right now the solids that are produced on the site are fairly wet, they contain a lot of water. We will be going to a dried product that has really contains only about 10% water. And that what, the, what that will do um, is actually significantly reduce the amount of truck traffic that leads the site just associated with that volume reduction. The biggest challenges to making improvements is working with the plant's small footprint. We have a very difficult site. Um, it'll be a challenging site. It'll be a site that will require um, considerable amount of time and effort put into thinking about staging, to thinking about where we're going to store materials, where we'll store equipment, because we will have to stage the entire facility. We'll build uh, the aeration basin and sludge thickening basins first um, in order for us to have storage for the um, waste being treated. And then we'll go ahead and we'll demo some existing facilities, clarifier and whatnot, to build the headworks and the new drying and dewatering facility. And then we'll finish up with the final um, demolition of a, the other primary clarifier so that we can build the last um, secondary clarifier for the facility. And I know that the odor is a big issue with regards to the facility and the citizens of the Wilsonville. I can tell you that we will do our utmost to rectify the odor control and the odor issues even during construction. Plant designs will be completed in mid-January and construction is planned to start in February or March of next year. Construction will occur in phases since new structures will replace existing structures that are currently occupied.